YouTube, welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing? Today's video, I am going to take, I am going to take my Draco Slayer Ignite deck and destroy what people think is the best deck in the planet. Or am I? Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to figure this out. And we'll be doing it with none other than Grand Saku Master himself, Susu from Head to Head Battles. It's going to be an absolute amazing match, so don't miss it. Don't forget, before we get to this video, to smash the subscribe button, not just on my channel, but also for Susu's. And don't forget, get the beautiful Alex Playmats right now in the description while you can. One more day. This is the last day of the LX Playmats. Get it while you can, guys. And with this being said, let's get started on this absolute greatness. Pen best deck. Let's go. A match for the ages, okay? We're going to stop before this duel even begins. I want you guys to see my hand. My hand's insane. Absolutely amazing. Now, in past lists, I did not play a Souls and Illusion of Chaos. I threw one of each because the deck was really reliant on Herald. Might as well get a free Souls, and it's good in this deck. So, my man Susu over here, who, by the way, when me and Susu enter the same building, keep your girlfriend at home, bro. Keep your girl at home. We're going to be Goku and Vegeta, baby. At Nax, GG. That's all I got to say. All right. So... First things first, he is playing Live Twin Splite, which might be the best way to play Splite. Who knows? But Splite is the best deck in the OCG and is probably going to be the best after Pendulum over here. So how good is this deck if it can't beat Splite? Let's figure out. And he has Nibiru and Ash. By the way, look at this. Ignite effect. Ash, right? Oh, man, it gets ashed. How sad. It would, be, it would suck a lot. If we couldn't just ignite again, let's go. These ignites are insane. Like, they're not once per turn. Like, they can't get Ash, and so many people will not know this. So when you play at a regional with this deck, or YCS, you just activate ignite, you, you, you tell them, like, oh, what's it do? It adds, they're gonna read the card. Oh, it adds, and Ignis is another scale, and they're the same scale, Ash for sure. Too bad, baby. It is not a once per turn effect. You could use it again and again and again. Absolutely broken. Uh, so, we do an amazing play over there. This will now trigger Majesty Maiden. This will search us the area Coliseum. We discard our field spells. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to trigger our power to a dragon later in this combo. Doesn't matter because we're still got everything we need. We got Sublim Knight here. Uh, we're gonna use the two of these to go into Needle Fight or sorry, to go into Assault Day. This is the fifth summon. So let's say Nibiru gets dropped right now before we Assault Day. This is fine. Like this is a little bit hurt. Maybe we should have saved the souls. Like, Nibiru-wise, like, if he hits us with a Nibiru right now, it still doesn't matter. I'll tell you guys why right now. So, let's say we get hit with a Nibiru right now. I use Therion Coliseum to search for Therion Bull. I don't need no Regulus. Regulus sucks. I said Therion Bull. Therion Bull effect special Squeak Knight. Sorry, Equip Squeak Knight. Squeak Knight, just like the Ignites, are not once per turn. My kind of knight. That's why this deck's insane. Special Sweet Knight, Sweet Knight, and Therion Bull going to Assault Day number two, trigger effect number two, and you just play as normal. Pendulum two from next deck, and you play as if nothing happened. Uh, in this scenario, uh, Susu decides not to Nibiru, so he wants me to wave my Pendulum Summon yet. Because I didn't Pen Summon yet, and he knows I have a Therion Coliseum. So that might be what he's waiting for. At this point, I use Renaud to add Living Fossil. This now makes it so I'm allowed to Needle Fiber. Because if I Needle Fiber, and special red rolls. Living Fossil makes it so I have a better follow-up that I can still uh, scythe lock him with a bunch of negates, even if he Nibiru. So I go Needle Fiber. I'll play around every hand trap. If he imperms my Needle Fiber, I don't care. If he imperms the Assault Day, I don't care. Like, all these cards I'm doing right now, you're just basically throwing cards at your opponent, letting them use all their hand traps. Ash is gone. Let him go Sword. Let him Valor. Let him Imperm. Let him go Sword. I don't care. Let him Nibiru. Let him whatever hand trap people play. Let him DD Crow. Let him do whatever, like, uh, you're, that's the game plan here. Throw your hand at your opponent until they utilize all their hand traps. Except for Droll, because you will not allow your opponent or give your opponent consent to activate Droll. Because that card does kind of hurt us, I'm not going to cap. Uh, but we do have ways to play around it. Uh, it's called Needle Fiber Degda Pass. And hopefully it's enough against Droll. Uh, but against Droll, that's not the worst. Here is when I think he should have... Uh, if you look at this scenario, he shouldn't have Bureau here, in my opinion. This will give him the best value. Uh, when you have Rose Dragon here, obviously your next play, you're going to go into Herald. This is also why Souls works very cool with the deck as well. This is Special Rocks Rose, which is Basil Roshu. At this point, we're going to Pendulum Summon. 
And uh, we're going to go into Power Tool Dragon. Power Tool Dragon will search us just a free plus one. And then I'm going to use Basil Rose to get us another uh, Power Tool. I have no targets because we hard drew two living fossils. But that doesn't matter if you guys want to go Absolute Dragon, really. Uh, at this point, I did make a decision. Do I want to play around Dark Ruler? It's game number one. Don't play around in Dark Ruler game number one. Your deck will just be so much better. Like your, Okay, your board's not insanely better, but like it's better. It's game one. I don't think you should play around Dark Ruler game one. Game two and three, definitely play around it. Here, we use the Ignite Triggering Degda. Get Phoenix Gear Freed out here. Uh, have some fun. Uh, here, we Special Gear Freed, and we set up with this scenario. Living Fossil should not be equipped. Living Fossil should be banished for some reason. I, I just treat it like a, like a Therion, uh, so that should have been the case here. Uh, he activates Nibiru, I'm gonna, uh, I, vor I should Vortex it, I don't Gear Freed, I should Vortex it. And then uh, anything he said, I have no space for Scythe, but it doesn't really matter. I have so many like cards uh, that it just doesn't matter. He goes Zeus, I just negate with Herald, uh, negate, negate. Uh, yeah, so I should have negate with Vortex uh, right away, so that was just game. But uh, So I negate with Vortex first, and uh, so yeah, the Living Fossil just didn't matter at all. Uh, just keep in mind though that Gear Freed is not in, uh, it is not a Therion, it is a, a Gear Freed. So just keep that in mind because uh, that would alter a lot of plays. For example, I would have Gear Freed first for the Zeus and then I would have uh, Regulus after. Shit like that's important to know. Uh, here we're going to, but just take your Therion's equip. So Gear Freed will always have an equip. You could also just attach Phoenix Blade from your hand. So it's just important to know that stuff. Uh, here he goes full spike crumbles. He got live twin. I'm, I have four really good cards in my hand. If I draw a good uh, one for the sixth, I'm breaking this entire board, and I'm really excited to do so because this deck I've broken spike board me boards many times before, and that's a really cool thing about this deck is that it just breaks boards like it's no one's business. Breaks boards like nothing. That's what Ignite Inferno Noble does. Uh, so here he's gonna set up uh, live twins. He's gonna get draws. He has he got so many interruptions here. He got totally awesome. Splite out, bring another totally awesome. That's two of them. He got carrot. He got a starter to bring out a red. So you got four negates there. Kiss a kill, imperm, valor, dupe frog. That's eight interruption. Dupe frog is a huge interruption. Not going into battle phase against these small monsters really hurts a pendulum deck because you just pendulum summon and attack all these low, low, uh, low attack monsters. But it's all good. I dropped Phoenix Blade. And I'm like, bro, are you kidding? Like, with Phoenix Blade and Basil, like two dead cards in my hand, like. I could break this board with six ignites, hundred percent. I've done it before. Uh, sadly, we we don't have that, but we'll still do our best. I pendulum summon right off the bat because uh, I want to trigger rose dragon as soon as possible. I really want to draw something that would help me out here, and uh, we'll see what we draw here. Uh, we draw into another ignite. I'm like, an ignite might come up if we can get to Isolde. If we can get to Isolde, this other ignite in my hand will come up nicely because the double ignite then the Isolde abs will search me something else. Uh, so I use the effect of the Ignites here to search for Ignis. This is also where the Ignite could come up huge. He goes Splite Starter. This Splite Starter will make it so uh, he has uh, another Negate in Splite Red. I'm like, alright, there's so many Negates, but we can still do it. We have to think hard. I normal summon the Ignis here. I'm like, okay. Uh, screw it. I'm just going to normal the Ignis. Uh, I'm going to enter the battle. And he's going to I use Croc because at 2,500 to attack the Duke Frog. I'm like, shit, this is not good. But I'm going to be forced to chain the Croc before it gets impermed, and I sent the Ignite Cavalier, because I'm like, there's no way we're gonna get a warrior out here. So I chain to use the Crocs effect to pop, right? And I pop the carrot, because I know I'm gonna need to use Basil, and he's like, he lets it go. All right, still battle phase. I trigger ba uh, Basil in the battle phase, forcing him to Toad, because he doesn't know what might come. And this is where I catch him on the misplay. When you're playing a deck like this that plays through interruptions like it's nothing, you try and force your opponent to misplay anytime possible, even if it's very minor. If I was him, I would have probably left the Toad. And uh, now that Duke Frog is gone, or at least got rid of something else other than Duke Frog, I could crash into the uh, Kiss a Kill. So I ca crash into Kiss a Kill uh, because it's battle phase, he can't use his effect. So now I'm left with just two monsters in the field, and there's no play. <laughs> I did my best. I did my best. I made it so he has no interruptions left, but we couldn't break through it. I look at my hand, I'm like, all right, this hand's awkward as shit. I literally hard drew Squeak Knight and Scythe. So these are two hard bricks that you do not want to open. And on top of that, I have two Ignites that are opposite level that I can't even pen summon. I use the first effect of the Ignite, uh, of Isolde, I hit with Droll. I'm like, are you kidding? Fuck, like, Droll really hurts his deck. So now I have to Omega Brain think how I'm going to play around this. I use Isolde's second effect. 
to send living fossil and Renaud. Droll to, it still allows me to add for my graveyard. So I use Renaud to add living fossil. Fantastic. What's my next play? I now use Ignite Cavalier and Ignite uh, Templar, and I Pendulum, Sum Pendulum Summon Squire. All right. And then I take uh, Isolde and Renaud, right? I put turn them into Dagda. I already have a Scythe. I just need to put Renaud in the graveyard. This play is a mega brain. Think about this. I trigger Cavalier now because guess what? You can destroy both cards in your Fire Zone and add a Fire Warrior from your deck or Grave. I bet you didn't know that about Ignites, huh? So I trigger the Ignites to add from my graveyard. I use that to add Renaud. This play is massive because I need a tuner for Needle Fiber. So Renaud's effect makes it a tuner. I did all of this just for Needle Fiber. No other reason. And I summoned one Ignite to the field because I needed an Ignite on the field to be a fire for my uh, Renaud. All that for nothing, just for that little play. I use Renaud, uh, I special Renaud, I can't use Renaud to add because I already did it earlier in the turn. And I put Renaud, which is now a tuner, and the Dagda into Needle Fiber to make it so I can do some Ignite plays, uh, Synchro plays now. It gets Ashed. I'm like, okay, this is fine. I have Scythe, I got Needle Fiber. We are good to rock. We are good to rock. So what I do here is I set Scythe to pass. Summons, even through Ash and Droll, we set up the Baron. Let's go, boys. We still set up the Baron, and there's nothing that could be done. We set up the Baron, and Baron's a warrior, which is really cool as well. And uh, he still sets that. I draw into Heritage because I'm a sicko. Uh, we go Living Fossil. Uh, we're going to put those two warriors into the Soul Day to add, a, add. I negate the carrot, or I negate the, the red with Baron. I add an Ignite. Uh, the, I use Baron to pop the set. Uh, the Randall add another Ignite. Now I got double Ignite. I literally have one card in my hand. And now, just like that, I'm going to have full value. Look at this. Absolutely insane. Pendulum summon everything. And get gear free. G, G. Or I get Therion Bull here, actually, just to flex a bit. That I could squeak knight. Access code. G, G. Let's go. Absolutely amazing match. Shout out my boy, uh, Susu. And head-to-head -head battles. Uh, amazing match there. This is the deck that I used. Uh, the only difference is that there's no Souls and Illusion. I recently took out Souls and Illusion. I don't think they're that crazy anymore. But nonetheless, this deck's absolutely cracked. And I think for all you guys, pendulum lovers out there, you gotta try it out. This deck is absolutely insane. If you guys haven't already smashed the subscribe button, make sure to do so. Smash the subscribe button for Susu as well. Smash the like button. Pen best deck, baby, let's go! Pen best deck. And make sure you get your beautiful Alex Playman in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.